Our understanding of what causes life-threatening diseases has moved forward significantly thanks to a study led by Australian researchers. For the first time, scientists have mapped out the DNA of Africa's indigenous peoples. The discovery has important implications for treating and potentially curing many serious illnesses. Australian scientist Vanessa Hayes was working on HIV in South Africa, but she felt hampered because there was no genetic information about the indigenous people. It was a frustrating way to work as a scientist because we weren't game to move the research forward to understand disease globally as well as in Southern Africa if we don't have the proper tools. And for the tools, we need a DNA sequence. So she set about launching a remarkable scientific experiment. It eventually took two years to complete. An international team led by the University of New South Wales and the Children's Cancer Institute sequenced the DNA of four Kalahari Desert Bushmen and one man from the ethnic Bantu group. That man happened to be Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Scientists found the Bushmen and the Bantu are the most genetically diverse people in the world with more than one million genetic variants compared to European DNA. Europeans represent a very young population group in genetic terms. Europeans have only had around 40,000 years to change. Um, and the Bushmen, for example, in the study, uh, they represent a lineage that's believed to be about 100,000 years old. Looking back into one of the world's oldest societies means researchers can trace the origins of many current diseases. We can study the genetic code of, say, Europeans or Australians and, and look for the differences that predispose us to modern diseases such as obesity, diabetes, cancer. This will then lead not only to individualised treatment but will also lead to prevention in a way that we haven't been able to do it before. The findings will be available to any scientist around the world free of charge. Sophie Scott, ABC News.